Hey hi, hello pals, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be setting up my new bullet journal for 2018, which is super exciting. I picked up an A5 dotted Leuchtturm notebook and I'm very excited to get into this. It's hard cover compared to my previous soft cover moleskin, so that's gonna be a change, but I am excited to kind of get going with this. I've already gone through and sat up some of the the pages in pencil just to make sure that I get the layout right. I don't have all of my supplies with me so there's still going to be some things that are kind of in progress until I get back to the UK in the beginning of January. But yeah, no need to ramble on, let's just get into setting this up. I'm actually not going to be using this index because I have a very particular way that I like my index to function and this is not it. So I'm going to skip over the first pages of the journal. I'm going to skip this because what, what would I even put here? I don't know. And then I'm going to start my index on page two. And this is how I like to do my index. I've done it sort of already, but I will show you what the finished product is going to look like because I have one in my previous journal as well. And this is it. I just list out every page and then everything that isn't a weekly spread I highlight in grey. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm not going to be highlighting now because my highlighter is very quickly running out of ink. So this is what we are going to be doing. I'm just going to go over the title in ink and then draw some little boxes around the numbers. I'm not going to be redoing the numbers in ink because... <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. I dislike doing in my bullet journal, drawing lines with a ruler. Also, I forgot to mention this pen that I'm using is a Pentel Superb pen and I really like it. So this is going to be my index and we will fill that in later. And then I'm going to have a future log and I've just set up for the entire year. I probably won't be using this journal all year, but I figured uh, why not? So yeah, just gonna set that up as well. This is going to take eight years, so I'm just gonna skip ahead to me being done because realistically, you don't wanna see me writing all of these numbers. It just takes a long time. So I finally finished all of these. I actually made, not a mistake, really, but this title was a bit off-centered and I was like, oh, I don't care. But then I was like, everything else is centered. Mm, I do care. So I just whited it out and just did another one on top. You can still see it because obviously this paper is in bright white, it's cream white, but like that doesn't bother me at all that the white thing is there. So yeah. Also, we'll go in and raise the pencil marks eventually, just not right now. So let's move on to this. 
Uh, I'm dreading this because there's so many lines and as I said, I don't like losing my ruler, but this is gonna be fine because I'm not doing any of these lines. Let's, let's get started on this. Let's set this up. So that's this page. I just track when I dust and hoover my room, when I do my bedding and when I do my laundry. And this is just for me to keep track of because once we get into the semester, all concept of time just like goes out the window. I don't know how long it's been since I've done literally anything. So I just need this to like remind myself. I have this from January to June and it's just listed all the days. And I have done a little pencil mark where I want to do the different things. And then I will go in and fill in square when I actually do it. That's how I used that. I used that in my previous bullet journal as well. I used it for this semester, it worked great. So not changing it unless it has to. Now for all the lines, we'll see what we do about them. Bless. How did I not mess that up? That's amazing. Also, just looking at all those squares, my eyes were just like dying in their cross-eyedness because this is messing me up. I'm just gonna fill in the rest of this and then I'll talk you through it. Okay, so this is my semester overview spread. It's the one I've been using for absolute ages now, since the beginning of second year. So it's been a year and a half. And I'm gonna show you what it looked like when I have actually finished the semester, because that's a better way for you to see it. So this is my timetable. As you just saw me fill out here, it's when I have my lectures and my seminar. And then I track my reading for each week and my seminar prep for each week. And I just color in the box when I've done it. And this is my attendance tracker and I've listed my lectures and my seminars here and then the weeks 1 to 12 and then I just fill in with a P if I was present then with an IA if it was kind of explained absence like if it was sick or something and then just with an A if I just skipped it and then I colour it in when I've kind of caught up on everything that we did so if I finished my lecture notes if I finished any questions we didn't have time to go over that kind of stuff it's just a way for me to keep track on what I've done and what I haven't done. This is what this is gonna be. So now we're gonna set up January and I'm actually doing this in a different way than I have previously. I'm going to have one page for my personal stuff and one for my academic stuff. Let's just get started on setting that up. So this is personal and this is kind of academic and in the academic one I also put in the week numbers for the semester. And then we're going to make the skeleton for my first weekly on this next page. So 
I don't actually have the colour I'm going to use for January with me, but it is going to look something like this when I've actually coloured it in. So that is my first weekly <laughs> done. I'm not going to start filling that in, it's a bit early, but I am going to start filling in these other spreads because I have quite a few things to actually put in them. Firstly, the index. Then for the future log, I actually have quite a few things going on, especially in these first few months. actually going to set this up now I'll just do that as I think of stuff that is going on the only thing that really remains is to fill out my January spread so let's do that And that is it. I really like this kind of mentally spread for my personal stuff, but I prefer this for my uni stuff because then I can just highlight this entire line instead of writing first and highlighting over and risking it smudging. I don't like that. So I like this for my uni stuff. We'll see if I keep it. We'll see if I go over to using it for my personal stuff as well. Well, we will just see what happens. So I thought we would end this video with a little flip through of everything. As I showed you, this is my index. I'll be highlighting in grey everything that's not a weekly spread and this just goes on for the entirety of the pages so that I can actually mark what is on every page. Then it's my future log as you can see January is quite full there's quite a lot happening and I'm imagining that these will fill out quite similarly. I'm using colour where there is a deadline or a change in my routine so if a lecture is cancelled or something then that goes in a colour as well. Everything else is just in my black pen and then if there's something that stretches over multiple days like holiday, here I'm going away for a bit, then those days get underlined in grey. I will fill these up when something comes up. I'm not imagining that these will get very full really since they're so far away. Then short tracker as my previous bullet journal. This will get a lot of views once I go back to uni and I'm very excited to see this fill up very nicely. Then my monthly pencil marks will be erased eventually. Personal on this side, academic on this side. I am quite liking the splits so that I can see quite clearly what is going on with the different ones. Christmas break is marked down here as with kind of corresponding to these underlined in grey here. They also get highlighted down the side here and same for when I'm just going away here in January as well. So it all kind of corresponds quite nicely. Then first weekly spread 
will be like all my weekly spreads in my previous bullet journal, highlighted with the monthly colour for each of the little boxes. Although I added this, which is just a smaller space for notes and then a little calendar to show where we are in the month, because I wasn't using all of the note space in my previous weekly spreads, so I figured that would be a nice addition. And that is it. There are a lot of pages in this journal and I'm actually planning on doing kind of notes from the back. So I have some dissertation notes to transfer into this, which I'm quite excited about. And I probably will do most of my collections and stuff from the back as well, just because I really like that having it kind of separated out. So again, that's one reason why this index is so handy is that I can just start marking from the back as well. But that is going to be it for this video. It was so, so long, but I hope that you have enjoyed it. Nevertheless, if you want to see bullet journal videos in the future, see what I'm doing when it comes to that, definitely let me know and I will make sure to make those in the future. But with that being said, I will just see you in my next video and until then, take care. Say you need more space. What are you an astronaut?